you know, sometimes if you work at a department store, there are some perks to working there as an associate. Sometimes uh, you get discounts uh, and you get to interact with customers all the time. And then sometimes you get to know about products that will be coming out in the near future that that the most people won't because you work in the department store. And that's the case here with me being in the fragrance department. What's up everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome to my channel, 502 Fragrance Reviews. We're going to my channel to give race recommendations for great fragrances, but at the same time, bridge the gap between those that are in the fragrance community and those that are the average consumers. So, today, or yesterday, it's now officially yesterday because I fell asleep. Uh, I got some really big news about fragrance releases in the first half of this year that's going to be coming out. Now, these releases are, uh, it's, uh, it's only going to be at, like, at the department store that I work, we're getting these fragrances. That's why I got this big pamphlet showing these releases. Is there going to be other releases um, too as well? Most, li most likely, yes. It's just that, as far as I know, we not, we're not going to get those. Sometimes, though, we do get fragrances that we're not expected to get. Right here... This shows fragrances that my store is getting through July. There is a few that I do think that we will still get that's not on here. Um, I do know this, with people in the fragrance community seeing this. I do know that Ashton from Gent Sense does have like a This Week in Fragrance series on his channel that's great and I love it and I watch all those videos. I do know at some point in the future, near future, especially as he finds out about these, he's going to cover it on his channel. So I'm not trying to copy his series, it's just, this is a, it's a case right here where I find out about this and I know nobody else knows about this, so I kind of want to be the first one to do it and at the same time give my take on it. So I know at some point Ashton will cover this, but for now. He doesn't probably know about a lot of these, so I'm gonna wanna show it to you guys. So, before I hop into this really, really big news video about fragrance releases coming out, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit that, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell to let you know whenever I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get into some of these really big releases that's gonna be coming out in the first half of this year. So I'm kinda gonna, I'm kinda gonna skip around when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, in the pamphlet and say certain fragrances for later on in the video. Uh, I did take pictures of all of these and I'm pretty sure in Sony Vegas I can show it up like right here or here or to show you that hey this is what I'm seeing. So the first thing that's super small to me is Tom Ford Beau de Jour which was a which was a Prada Blend collection it's now put been put in a signature collection we're getting that but I was already expecting that. These other ones though, I had no idea about. So, first thing we're gonna start off with, there is going to be another new Polo fragrance. And this is going to be another Polo Blue Flanker. And this is Polo Blue, no, Polo Deep Blue. So this one is gonna be coming out in the first half of this year. And this is being, this is a pure parfum. It's not old parfum. I think it's the first polo is gonna be just a, just a pure parfum. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and, sh and show you like this, but also I'm gonna wanna bring it up so you can see it. But this is polo deep blue right here. And I'm gonna show a picture, picture to show it up. And the official, like the full note breakdown has been shown right here. And I'm going to just tell it to you. At the top, you've got green mango, grapefruit oil, bergamot oil. At the heart, you've got cypress, geranium oil, and clary sage. And at the heart, uh, at the base, you've got deep ocean accord, musk, patchouli, 
fur balsam and ambroxan. So based off the notes breakdown, this does look good to me. This catches my eye, it looks appealing. Um, I know for the most part, Polo isn't the most impressive nowadays. Their, most of their stuff is honestly forgettable. Uh, I know Polo Red Intense and Polo Red Extreme. I actually do like those. I think those are the only good, like, really nice Polo fragrances. Um, the, the newer Polos, like uh, Red Rush, Ultra Blue, Gold Blend, um, Polo Blue Eau de Parfum, those never really uh, reached to me. They, they never really impressed me super heavily. But based off the notes, of this one, the new Polo Deep Blue that's coming out, it does catch my eye based off the note breakdown. So uh, this should be hitting counters in March. So it's looking like a fragrance right here that I'm just going to try when it comes in. If it's good, if it's maybe get a sample of it or something just to kind of do my first impressions. But Polo Deep Blue, it does look pretty interesting. The next fragrance I want to cover with y'all is going to be another fragrance in the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue line. This is one right here that is going to be a limited edition release. So with that being limited edition, I have no idea how long it's going to be out in stores. But this is one right here that looks pretty cool guys. So there's going to be a man and a woman's version. Just be, that's, to be, that's to be expected because Ocho Gabbana does that with their light blue line. And the new fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Love & Love. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up a picture on Sony Banks to show you, but for now I'm gonna do this real quick. Show it to you right here. Kinda looks like that. And then also, right here. It's showing the men and women's at the top with the light blue and light blue intense at the bottom. So, this light blue love and love, I don't know if there's like a write up for it. Yeah, there's, there's no like write up for it. And there's probably, I know there's gonna be a write up like that online that can be read, but for now, this is a limited edition. And they're not, this is one of those cases where with the paper showing me, it's showing just three notes, like one at the top, one at the heart, one at the base. Uh, I know this is this is not the full note breakdown, so there's gonna be more official, like more notes listed officially when it comes out, or as it gets closer. Um, I will cover the women's one in another video. We're focusing on the men's version right now. This is being classified as a woody, fruity fragrance. It says a unique contrast of cool and warm ingredients to evoke Mediterranean pleasures. So, at, at the top, so, so tell me one note, I know there's gonna be more. At the top, you've got Granny Smith Apple. At the heart, you've got Apple Gelato. And at the base, you've got Vanilla. So, this is really interesting right here. Um, this looks pretty cool. Um, it's been classified as a woody, fruity fragrance, and it doesn't, it's only giving me the three notes for now. It's not, so it's saying woody, fruity. So I know there's gonna be woody notes in there. Uh, don't know what type of woods. Um, the Granny Smith apple caught my attention, but then it says apple gelato. That's so interesting. Um, I don't know what to think about that. I feel like, it's going. It's definitely going to be a, going to be appealing in the top notes because of the apple, the Granny Smith apple. But I guess the apple gelato will give it like a creaminess, like a fruity, creamy type of feel. Um, I don't know. This is one right here though that actually does look interesting. They're advertising it as fun and addictive. Um, light blue sun, I believe, came out last year. And light blue sun was nice. I did like that. I ultimately I still liked light blue intense the most. I really like uh, Dolce Gabbana light blue intense. But this new this limited edition Dolce Gabbana light blue love and love for own the men's version is looking pretty interesting. 
It's not giving me a, a, a release date or anything like that. So definitely look forward to seeing Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Love and Love limited edition release. As I'm telling you guys, these fragrances definitely let me know in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to seeing any of these? Because there's gonna there's gonna, there's gonna be some definitely some nice ones here. Some that's gonna get some that once the fragrance community once I tell you, you be like. Oh, I didn't expect that. Some of these is going to pick up a lot of hype, as you will see like later in the video. We're going to have another Gucci Guilty fragrance. This is going to be another Gucci Guilty that's going to be coming out. We just had Gucci Guilty Love Edition really recently. Gucci's already putting out another fragrance now. This one's going to be Gucci Guilty The Eau de Parfum version. So, this one right here is interesting because Gucci Guilty, the original, the Eau de Toilette, which is probably their best seller, most likely. Um, this Eau de Parfum version, uh, based off what it's giving me, it doesn't seem like it's a flanker. It seems like it's, a, it's its own thing. Uh, because these notes that it's showing me was not was not in the, uh, the original Gucci Guilty, I'm pretty sure. So, Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum is being classified as a woody aromatic. And... It's not giving me all the notes, kind of like how Dolce Gabbana, I like Blue Love and Love, it's not giving me all the notes. So there's going to be more notes in here, I know. As we get closer to it being released, uh, we'll all get the note breakdown. This is highlighting three notes. Hot Chili Pepper, a Masculine Rose Accord, and Cedarwood Accord. It's being advertised as provocative, fresh, and sensual. I'm gonna bring it up a picture like on the, on, the, on the screen so you see it, but I'm also gonna do this. Here is the Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum. And on the back side, it's saying this is gonna be set to come out in April. April, uh, April 1st. Here's the other side of it, kind of showing you the prices. And I'll be bringing up a pic, uh, on the screen now a better way, like a better way for you to see it. So this one right here is one, guys, that is really intriguing to me because this is uh, this fragrance right here is diff look, based off the notes that it's highlighting. It's different from the other Gucci Guilties. Um, I know a lot of average consumers love to look at Gucci, but just because they associate themselves with their clothing, people always go in the department store because I I'm in the department store, like I said. I always have customers come in, men or women, to be like. Oh man, oh my god, it's Gucci. Um, Gucci Guilty, the collection, uh, it gets a lot of hate from fragrance snobs and the fragrance community that takes fragrances way too serious. Um, Gucci Guilty does do nice with the average consumer. So that's why Gucci keeps on putting out more Gucci Guilties because it makes money for them because customers, the average consumers, which is the majority of people that matter, they are the ones that matter, they they buy Gucci Guilty. So we're gonna have yet another Gucci Guilty release now and Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum. And I think this might be the first Gucci Guilty that is an Eau de Parfum. I can't remember what Love, what Love Edition is, but yes, that's Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum. The next fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys about, I actually don't have kind of any pictures to show up here. Um, I just know that it's going to be coming out, the name of the fragrance. So I don't have much to work with here. I'm just gonna briefly tell you about this and what I think it's gonna be. This fragrance right here is so funny, man. It's interesting because the other day I was talking to a customer about this brand because he asked me, hey, what do you think of this brand? And I said, this brand's nice. Uh, well, these two fragrances that they have, I do like them, but it's been a little bit since they came out with something. I would expect Coach to hopefully come out with something soon. I've already said the brand, and it's Coach. We're getting a new Coach fragrance, guys. A new Coach men's fragrance. And this fragrance is simply called Coach Blue. So, this fragrance right here, Coach Blue, it's an oldest wallet. I'm hoping that it keeps the same bottle design that the, Coach from, the original Coach for Men and the Coach Platinum kept, and just maybe makes it, simply just make it blue. Uh, this has got blue in the name, so <laughs> I'm expecting this to be another blue fragrance. I have no problem with a blue fragrance nowadays. You gotta smell it for yourself to see if you like it, right? And plus, companies nowadays, they know where the money's at. 
uh, people in the fragrance community maybe getting tired of blue fragrances. And you gotta smell it. So this one I expect um, the original coach for men was more so had put emphasis on fruits. It was more of like a fruity forward fragrance. Coach Platinum put more emphasis on like aromaticness, like from uh, vanilla, pineapple, sage. Uh, and coach Platinum put more emphasis on the like yeah, the vanilla, like the aromatic type of, type of fresh and sweet. Um, I'm expecting Coach Blue to put emphasis on Ambroxan or Amberwood. I'm definitely put seeing them going to go forward in that. I think I expect this to be a, more of a, a fragrance based off of citruses, citruses and ambroxan or amberwood. Uh, Coach Platinum's fruity more so than fresh. Coach, uh, Co sorry, Coach, the original Coach Man is more fruity forward than fresh. Coach Platinum's more aromatic, not as fresh really. I think I predict that Coach Blue is going to be a really just a simple fresh, woody. Ambroxan ish type of scent. That's what I expect Coach Blue to be. So it's gonna be another fragrance that will be coming out, guys. I I don't know if it's gonna be having the same bottle design, but we're getting the third Coach fragrance in the men's line, and that's Coach Blue. This next fragrance I actually once again do not have a write up at all for it, no pictures. So in the name, I can't tell what this is gonna be. So it's gonna be really I can't tell like what, what I can predict this will be. It's gonna be really brief. We are getting a new Burberry fragrance, guys. A new Burberry fragrance for men. And this is simply called Burberry B5. And it doesn't say this is supposed to hit the stores until July. Uh, oh, Coach Blue is supposed to be coming out in June. But it's saying Burberry B5 is supposed to come out until July. Um, that's, a while. that's actually a while from now. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. I can't tell based off the name, like with the coach, what I could predict this will be. So, look at me, another Burberry fragrance now, men's, and it's Burberry B5. These last three are ones that I do know will pick up hype in the fragrance community. So, I wanted to save them for the last. Uh, I do have pictures and everything of this. So, of, of course, you would know all this is going to be this is legit. Uh, we are getting a new Azaro fragrance, guys. A new fragrance in the Azaro Wanted line, too. This is going to be an Azaro Wanted flanker. And this one is called Azaro Wanted Tonic. And this is going to be an Eau de Toilette concentration. Um, you can already kind of tell what type of fragrance this is going to be by the name. Azaro wants it tonic. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this other fragrance. There's a Hugo Boss fragrance called Hugo Boss Boss Bottle Tonic. And that's a more fresher version of the Boss Bottle DNA, I believe. At least, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm listening to them. So Azaro Wanted Tonic is looking like to me it's going to be a fresher version of the Azaro Wanted DNA. Um, at, least I, at least I predict. This is another one of those fragrances where it's only highlighting or wanting to put emphasis on three notes. I know there's going to be more notes listed as we get closer to the release. But for now I've only got three notes to work with. Those notes is Lime, Ginger, and patchouli and this is being classified as a woody aquatic fragrance and I got two pictures I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of show like this but also bring it up for you this is in the bottle I love the color of the bottle it keeps the same bottle as the other Azaro wanted but the, co the color is, is dope man look at okay so here is Azaro wanted to tonic like that and then I'm going to flip it over like this and show you the other picture. Look at that. And I'm going to bring it up on the screen. This is dope, man. This is a, uh, it's got a nice, like really like, like, like a blue color with the silver and contrast. The bottle looks sick. Um, but this one right here is, is one that's definitely got my, caught my eye. I love lime and fragrances and lime is in this. I'm hoping limes, because I put an emphasis on it. I'm hoping lime's one of the really big notes. This is one right here that I'm definitely excited to smell. It says Woody Aquatic, so hopefully there's like a watery notes accord or a, a sea accord. 
Uh, this is the one right here that I'm, I'm very excited for. And that's going to be a Zaro Wanted Tonic. The next fragrance I wanted to talk to you guys about is a new YSAO fragrance. And this is one right here that people in the fragrance community pro probably was not expecting. I mean, we just had a flanker and it came out last year. This is now another flanker. This fragrance is YSL's Y O Fresh. We are getting another YSL Y fragrance, guys. This must be a big, well, the YSL Y series must be a big money maker for uh, YSL. This one right here is. It's gonna have a really cool bottle design. I'm gonna show you the bottle in a second. This right here, this is putting emphasis on certain notes. It's talking about the freshness of a white and dark fougere. Some of the right up here. It says when the energizing coolness of frozen lemon and geranium essence meets the spiciness of zingy peppermint and the strength of cedar wood. It's saying right here, the white accord is a splash of Lemon sparkle with no spike with peppermint, which boosts the freshness of the geranium and sage duo. And the dark accord is the invigorating energy of this cool start is empowered by the cedar wood essence, sustained by an ambergris accord and a wisp of incense. So something really interesting here. It says ambergris. We're gonna have to see about that because the other Y fragrances put emphasis on amber wood. So this is the first one that at least they're advertising to say an amber green. Um, this one right here is being classified as a citrus woody fougere. And it's it says right here in the Y franchise. Let me show you the picture first. The bottle is going to be frosted. You can't really tell that right now based on my pictures. But it's going to be a frosted bottle. Look at this bottle, man. It is super light blue color with a white top. And it looks really interesting. Got it right here. This, this comparison to the other to the other YSL Ys. I'm gonna bring pictures up right now. This is putting emphasis, like I said, like the main ingredients that I want to focus on is geranium essence and lemon essence. So this is gonna be more citrusy forward version of the YSL Y DNA. Um, the frankincense is coming back that wasn't in Y Eau de, Trois, y Eau de Parfum, I believe. No, y Live, y Live, it wasn't in that. So it, the incense is coming back, but also you've got an ambergris accord. Then you got lemon and sage, geranium, mint. This one, cedarwood, this one to me looks very exciting. I'm very excited for this one. It says a classic and modern unexpected bottle design. It says the original bottle of Y plays with the traditional codes of luxury. The Y O Fresh version is a frosted version of the iconic Y bottle. So it's gonna be a frosted glass bottle and that dope light blue color with the white top. It looks the bottle, the bottle is my visually presentation, it's my favorite now in the in the YSL Y uh, collection for sure. I love this. So that's another new fragrance that I'm very excited about is okay so we had YSL Y Eau de Toilette then the Eau de Parfum then Y Live last year now we got YSL Y Eau Fresh coming out this year and the last one this one's probably gonna be this one's gonna be the biggest one out of all of them so I want to save it for last let me tell you about the last fragrance that's gonna be coming out this caught me off guard I saw the name for it on paper and I kind of just skimmed over it but as I was going through the pictures, I was like, hold on. This is a new fragrance. So, we are getting two new fragrances. Um, one of them is not on the picture here, in my things, but I do got pictures for it. We are getting a new Armani code once again. Um, and it's kind of a flanker of a flanker here. Armani loves to do flankers of a flanker. We're getting a new Armani code and Parfumo.net has got this on their, on their website. So I got something to go off of here. This is Armani code absolute gold. So we had Armani code absolute. It came out last year. 
And that must have been a big hit for them, Armani, to already come out with a flanker of that now. Uh, Armani collapsed a little bit. I have a picture, bring it up and show you. The official, there's no write up yet for this, and there's going to be a write up for sure. This will be a limited edition release. At the top notes, you got Mandarin and Green Apple, so you're keeping the Mandarin and Green Apple from Armani Code Absolute, but the heart is completely changed. At the heart, you've got Iris, Saffron, Leather, and Spices. Completely new heart. That's, that's, very, that's very exciting to me to see that. And at the base, the base, the only thing that it kept from Armani Code Absolute is Tonka Bean. The rest changed. So you got Tonka Bean, Cedarwood, Gaiac Wood, and benzoing and here's a picture right here so this as you can tell by the bottle the bottle i like it's like all gold now the Armani Code absolute the top was black uh there was like a little bit other black finishes around it this is just straight up all gold uh i am very very excited for this release um the heart is what really got me intrigued man iris saffron leather and spices uh, I'm this one right here. I'm, I'm very interested. Our mind code absolutely like that came out last year and it made a big hit for them with average consumers and the fragrance community. But I, even though I liked it, Armani code Profumo, which I got over there, is still my favorite Armani code. Based off the notes, Armani code Profumo, you murder, you made me, you may be in some trouble because <laughs> Armani code absolute gold is sounding really nice. So that's one to look forward to, guys, for sure. That's the limited edition release, Armani Code Absolute Gold. And then the very last one. Oh, this is gonna get attention. We're getting a new Aqua de Jo fragrance or flanker. And if you look at when I when I bring up the bottle and everything to you, there's gonna be multiple pictures I have for this. For a second, I thought this was a flanker to Aqua de Jo Perfumo. But I don't think it is. I don't think so. The new fragrance we're getting is Aqua de Jo Profondo. Um, the name really threw me off for a second because, it, like, I was just skimming through it and it looked close to Profumo that I overlooked it. We're getting a new Aqua de Jo, Aqua de Jo Profondo. It doesn't have Profumo in its name, so to me, this is not a flanker of a flanker. Because when Aqua de Jo, when Aqua de Jo Absolute came out, they followed it with, Abs with Absolute Instinct, a flanker of a flanker. The reason why I thought for a second this was going to be a flanker of the flanker, because the bottle design of Aqua de Jo Profondo is the same as Perfumo, but upon a closer look, the, the color of the bottle is different. Aqua de Jo Perfumo was black. This Aqua de Jo Profondo is going to be like a dark blue. So. Aqua de Jo Profondo is being classified as an a aromatic aquatic fougere. Aromatic aquatic fougere. I've never heard of it before. I think they're making, making, making something new. I've heard of aromatic fougere, but aromatic aquatic fougere? Interesting. So, right here, they're not saying all the notes right now. At the time we put out this video, maybe the official note breakdown is out. It probably is. But they want to put emphasis on these notes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read these notes. There is probably gonna be more though, people. At the top, you've got marine notes. At the heart, you've got aromatic essences in rosemary, lavender, and cypress. And at the base, it's a woody, woody mineral accord in amber, patchouli, and musk. And I'm gonna show I'm, I'm gonna bring multiple pictures right now. Here is Aqua de Jo Profondo right here. And then here's a picture showing some of the different bottle, the bottle uh, sizes. And I'm gonna bring up another picture that's, on, that's already on Profumo.net, I believe, right here. So this is one right here. I know people in Facebook community is gonna be looking forward to checking out. Um, it's look, this is interesting because it's looking like the, like I said, they're adding a Fougere vibe to the Aqua de Jo DNA. Um, I do think the Aqua de Jo DNA is very versatile, meaning that you can do different type, different takes on the Aqua de Jo DNA. And this is the first type of Aqua de Jo DNA where a Fougere vibe has been added to it from lavender, with, with lavender, you know, cypress, um, rosemary has been in the Aqua de Jo DNA. 
this is one that's very interesting, man. Uh, I am definitely want to get my nose on this because I I like Aqua de Jo, the DNA. Uh, I have Perfumo and Aqua de Jo Ascenza. I like those. Aqua de Jo Absolute is really nice. Aqua de Jo Absolute Instinct is growing on me. So this is yet another fragrance now in the Aqua de Jo line. What an interesting name. I don't know what that translates to, but it's Aqua de Jo the, uh, Profondo. That is an interesting one, guys. Aqua de Jo Profondo. So that's what I got for you guys today, man. We got different releases, some small, some big. It's a, it's a lot to, to kind of cover. Uh, a lot of different releases. Pol uh, Polo Deep Blue. Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, Love is Love, Coach Blue, Burberry B5, YSL Y.O. Fresh, Arzaro Wa uh, Wanted Tonic, Aqua de Jo, uh, Profondo, and, and Armani Coat Absolute Gold. So it's a lot, that's a lot of releases. And this, this video's probably gonna kind of run long because of that, I apologize. If it's running long, but I kind of want to cover all these at once. So let me know in the comment section below. Out of all these fragrances I told you, which ones are the are the fragrances the ones that you're most looking for to smell? Because I feel like there's some heavy hitters that I said here. So let's get that discussion in the comment section below going. Let me know which one you're looking forward to. I'll tell you which ones I'm looking forward to, and we can talk about it in the comments. Because I love to talk to you guys. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. Um, I'm a, this is gonna be a, this, gonna be a, this video will come out Saturday morning. I'm gonna want to put this out in the morning, so you will be seeing this soon. I did fall asleep when I got home, so I'm putting this out like three. In, I'm recording this like three in the morning right now. So if you haven't already, hit that post notification bell, so let you know whenever I upload a new video. And also, real quick, if you're this far, please, if you're in the groups, share this. If you're in the Facebook groups, share this because I want because I am kind of the first one bringing this to you guys. Share this with everybody in the Facebook groups because I want more people in the Facebook groups to discover my channel. And this is a video right here that I think they're going to be interested in seeing. On my subscriber count to go up. You feel me? So, um, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope y'all have, have, have a great day. Till next time.